hopefully you can hear this video over the stuff my husband's doing and stuff my brother's doing. And it's reasonably insulated in here, but you can probably hear some of it. Anyway, all of my orders arrived, so I had placed an order on Prime Day, which I don't normally do, but they had a lot of interesting craft supplies, so I did place an order. And then I also placed an order with Cheap Joe's Art Supplies and Jerry's Artorama because I wanted specific things from both and then it ended up working out really nicely. So from Cheap Joe's I ordered, well I was originally just going for this. So this is the Horadam Aquarelle Random Gray. So it's like leftover pigments and they use them to make unique gray tones and it's like a limited edition thing. So I ordered two tubes of this. Then when I added it to the cart, it said that if you bought four tubes of that, you got a like free sampler of uh, watercolor paper. So I did add two more tubes. So now I have, so this is my second tube of the random gray and then I have Brilliant Red Violet and Brilliant Opera Rose. I haven't tried any of these colors yet. I'm just showing you what I got. <laughs> so that was my cheap joke. Well, actually, no, there was more to that order because I was looking at the core watercolor and it said that if you bought four of the Princeton paint brushes, you got these three tubes of core for free. So this is Ultramarine, Ultramarine Blue, Quinacridone Magenta, and Nickel Azo Yellow. And I remembered liking these, so it was worth it to me anyway, because I wanted some Princeton paintbrushes. I've always loved their brushes. Let me get these. So I got these four. I got a long round in eight, two long rounds in, no, just two normal rounds. What's the difference? Not sure. Two rounds in four and a liner in, well, a number one liner. So these are the Aqua Elite. I haven't tried any of this stuff yet. I'm gonna try it all, all of it soon, hopefully. So that was my order from Cheap Joe's and all these little plastic containers. I bought like a big set of them recently so I could organize my tubes. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of those. Now the Artorama, Jerry's Artorama order was much bigger um, because I had never shopped from them before and I didn't realize they had a big huge section of like heavily discounted stuff for trying out different brands and I'm all about trying different brands. I think it's really important when you're trying a hobby that you're new at or that maybe you haven't done much with yet to try as many different brands as possible. So I bought a ton of little individual things to try out. <laughs> um, it's funny because the only thing I'd actually gone there to buy was this. So I'm gonna be having a separate video about mixed media paper, but this is what I had actually gone to uh, Cheap, no, not Cheap Joe's, Jerry's Artorama for. <sighs> we'll see how it compares to my other mixed media papers. But what I ended up getting in addition to that is all of this. Pretty sure all of this was from Jerry's Artorama. Thinking about that for a second. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I've got this little watercolor notebook. I love putting these in my bag with my to-go palette, which we are also setting up. And I'll talk about that after I'm done going through everything. But I got this and I got this sketchbook from the same brand. It's probably not good for watercolor, but I will test out the paper to see if it works with fountain pens. So I'm going to put that with the mixed media pile because that's what that is for. They had packets of fluid watercolor paper and trial packs that were in the discount section. So I got one each hot press and cold press and then another mini hot press block because I'm really enjoying that. Ah, this was from the other order. Put it with the other samples. Sample of watercolor boards from Crescent. I've never used watercolor boards before. I think there's four of them in here so it's just, it's just like already ready to frame. That's cool try that. And Paramount 100% uh, cotton canvas. I don't know if this will take 
watercolor or gouache. It does say that it will accept water-based media, but if it doesn't, I do own acrylics and such. So I can use it for that if it does not like the watercolors. Just want to try it out. So there's all these. I wanted to just stack them up, but they just keep falling over. So there's these. And then I also got, I was trying to get one each of the little Legion paper things. I already had this one. So I got heavy aqua cold press, black heavy aqua cold press, aqua cold press, aqua hot press, which is the one I already have. I really like it. Aqua hot press black, aqua cold press black. These are so fun. And I love doing the artist trading cards. So, <laughs> but they are good for like figuring out what I like for paper. So we got Stonehenge craft, light, got two of the light colors, warm white and two white. All sorts of little things to try. Um, tons of brushes. So I got this like sampler set of the Creative Mark Black Swan. Now these say that they are for acrylics, oil, and water mixable oils. I bought them because some people say they use acrylic brushes for their gouache paintings, just because they're a little bit you know, sturdier than the watercolor brushes. So I'll see if they work for gouache or not. I don't know, they might. Um, these are two more of the black swan ones. I don't know how I feel about the really long brushes. I've, I've never really used long brushes. So we'll see how that goes. I have like a jar back here to put all the brushes in. And I got Polar Flow. These two are the same. These are Mimic. Yeah, Mimic. Uh, Mimic Kalinsky. I'm assuming by Mimic they mean they're mimicking different animal fibers. Another Polar Flow. I like these teeny tiny brushes for like cross hatching type of deal. Uh, I don't know how they actually want me to pronounce that, but I'm gonna call it Bestie. <laughs> so yeah, lots of new brushes to try. Just like a whole big pile of them. I'm gonna bend this so it fits in there. Hey. Just so I can keep them organized for now. And then I had also noticed this in like the clearance section. So this was in the Try Me section. And it's the Turner's Artist Watercolor Alizar and Crimson which has a terrible light fastness rating, but it's a pretty big tube and I thought I'd try it out, see what the texture was like. But then they also had this on like super clearance. This was the most expensive thing I bought, but it was also like massively marked down. So 18 set. We're gonna swatch all these out soon. I just have so many tubes to swatch out. It's a little overwhelming. And then like, this was my free gift because I never bought from them before. Which I thought when I was looking at it on the website was silly, but that would actually be really convenient to stick in my bag so I can refill my water for painting. So it's not as silly as I thought it was. I just remembered I did buy three other things. I'm embarrassed showing these to you because I made a mistake. I bought these giant I'm hoping waterproof bags for like keeping my art supplies in and my purse or backpack, but I clicked on the wrong sizes. So I ended up with two 12 by 16s and one absolutely ginormous 20 by 26. What I actually wanted was one 12 by 16 and two of the one size smaller than that. And I just made a mistake, but you know, that's okay. I will find a use for these there awesomely giant and this one I could probably use to pack my entire wardrobe when I take a vacation <laughs> so there is that they're, they're cool all right so the other tubes I got these were already in my stash from an earlier purchase so these are four colors of the Cotman watercolors and then from my prime day order I got this set of six Daniel Smith so Hansa yellow light new gamboge hard to read through this thing let's see if I can get it open Quinacridone Rose, Pyrrole Scarlet, Fallow Blue, and French Ultramarine. I have very briefly used Daniel Smith in the past. I remember liking it, but I haven't, I didn't have very many colors. 
So we'll see. I will try all of the tubes soon. <laughs> I picked up this palette at like a really cheap place nearby so I can try out the tubes. I already started with the with their common ones. All right. So yeah, this is all to say that I do have more videos coming as I try out all this art supplies. The tubes are actually a separate video. What I had actually wanted this video to be about was my to-go set. So this is just like the stuff that I want to bring with me so that I can paint in the car because I want to do that. Now, in the beginning, I had shown you my new palette from Van Gogh, which I did like. However, it, it held 15 colors and it could also fit the Winsor Newton one, so I mix and matched a bit. But the problem was that um, when I painted with it, if they were not perfectly flat on top, they would like stick to the top. And I know I could just leave them dry and let them dry completely, which I did try to do. But in addition to that, they did not sit in the palette very well. So unless I wanted to either glue or tape them down, they kept falling out. <laughs> so I bought this. And I bought this because it came with magnets. So. Ta-da! I did add sap green back in. So this is the uh, Van Gogh sap green. But otherwise, it's the same colors. Wait, no. Where did I put sap green? Right here. Otherwise, it's the same colors that were in the, the little tryout I did in the beginning. So it's um, these. The only thing I added was the sap green. Everything else is the same. I did mix them around a little bit too. So the yellows are in the same order. Um, permanent lemon yellow, azo yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. And then I did burnt umber after that and then white. Then the three reds, Cadmium Red Pale, Alizarin Crimson, and Quinacridone Rose. I love Quinacridone Rose. And I have room to add a couple more reds and one more blue if I wanted. And then on the bottom we have Sap Green and then Cerulean. I'm not sure if I got the order on these correct when I was putting them in here, but hopefully it's Ultramarine and then Intense Blue, Prussian Blue, and uh, Payne's Gray. I hope. They're a little hard to tell what they are without sampling them out. I can swap them around though. They just have magnets underneath so I can, well, okay, they're on this thing, but <laughs> I can take this out and they won't fall out, which is what I wanted. So now I'm not gonna have the same issue I was having where they were getting stuck to the top of the palette and making a mess every time I used it. And it also has this little loopy thing on the back. So when I bought this, it was actually in a two pack. So I have a second one. And more magnets too. I'm pretty sure I have enough magnets to do a whole separate palette. So I was just playing around with this one and putting the little empties in there. See how many I could fit. I might be able to get one more in there. I'm not sure. I'll have to take it out and play with it. But when I figure out which colors I like for the tubes, I can put some of them in this. So that's cool. I like having that. Um, I also picked up these recently. So these are little magnet jars. And I was just playing around with them and I can fit seven of those container things in there. I forget the word for them. I, it was on the tip of my tongue and now it's gone. Uh, <sighs> blocks? I'll call them blocks. So if I put magnets on the bottom of these, I could have little mini palettes. So that's kind of a cool thought. I was playing around with that. I'm just going to keep them in the same bag as everything else. So I just have all the extras in here. So in terms of what I have with me for my to-go watercolor stuff, let me just move my extra magnet out of the way. I dropped it and I forgot to put it back. Oh, right. I was keeping it out so I could add one more color. That's what it was. I don't know what color yet. So this is what I've been putting in my bag. I have three different water brushes, a little mini container of water, some water-soluble colored pencils. These are the Derwent Ink Tents, and then this one is the Derwent Sketching Dark Wash one. I do really like these. I have one compass, and I have my big clip for holding my watercolor book in whatever place I want it. 
it to be. I like holding it open so that the edges stay straighter. And then this fits in here nicely. And then I've been keeping the mini watercolor block with me. And then this is a Stillman and Burn Beta series, which I think is technically mixed media paper. I'm not sure, to be honest. But it does take fountain pen really well. And then also watercolor. So I've just been playing around with that. I like it. So yeah, I've been keeping those with me, and then I just put a rubber band around them to keep them shut so they don't come open and get the pages wrinkled. And this fits fairly nicely in my bag. Um, I think this is a a four size of the Nahi pouches. I'm not 100% certain on that. I have one smaller too. So this works really nicely. Um, doesn't mean I'm not opposed to setting up a larger one for when I feel like taking a larger amount of stuff with me though. So that's why I wanted the next size down of this, but I'm just going to have to deal with having the even bigger one. It's not like they don't fold either, I can just fold the edges up to make it fit where I need it to fit. So, And this could easily fit that giant mixed media pad I showed you. Uh, in terms of actual painting practice, I've just been playing around with layering try to get closer to skin tones because that's a fairly new concept for me. I never actually painted people before, so I'm playing around with that a little bit. And then I'm, you know, layering colors and then doing my fountain pen stuff on top of it. This is fun to do. I like it. And I'm happy to say that the hot press watercolor paper from Fluid takes fountain pen really, really well. There was no feathering and no bleeding. So I guess that's about it for the talking part of this video. I am going to just start swatching out some more colors. Um, so that'll be all in time-lapse, but thanks so much for watching and I hope to see y'all again soon.